Alright, and Roseanne, you, you kind of got involved with the town board over the summer, and um, so we've actually even received some letters to the editor calling you a one-issue candidate because you, you got involved because of the pipeline, and do you think your unfamiliar, unfamiliarity with some town board issues might hurt you, or what do you, what do you say to that criticism? There was a lot of things. Um, I think that the whole pipeline issue is what brought me here. Um, you know, it brought me to the room. It brought me to town hall. Uh, and there were, once I got there and I was listening to some of the, the meetings and some of the conversations, that's when I realized that I just was, wasn't happy with what I was seeing. Um, I may not have um, institutional knowledge. I may not have been around uh, Yorktown for 30 years. Um, I think that when you have a board of five people, the best representation of the community would be to have a well-rounded board. If everybody sitting on the board has the same background and the same views, then I don't think there's any um, comment and everybody just agrees and moves on their way. Um, I think we have 40% of the households in Yorktown have school-aged children in them. Uh, so we should have a representative of, of that point of view. Uh, I, when I went for my very first management um, job interview, I went in and, and I, I talked to my would-be boss and we had a really nice conversation and he called all my references and he called me back about two weeks later. He's like, well, I'm going to tell you, um, you don't know any of the things I need you to know to do this job. He goes, but you're smart and you're hardworking and you're honest and everything else I can teach you. And for 20 years I've held that with me because I know what I'm capable of. Um, and what I don't know today, I can assure you I will have mastered tomorrow.